Hello guys, it's your boy Anomaly from Sweden and as you may know, Counter-Strike 2 was announced yesterday and this is what it looks like if you're invited to the limited test invitation. Now, as you can see, sadly, I'm not invited, but I have a friend who's invited, so of course I'm going to do what it takes to play Counter-Strike 2 and borrow his account, but first I'm going to be sending a bunch of my skins to him so we can see what they look like in Counter-Strike 2. But before we get into that, this video was brought to you by Skin. Skins Monkey. They're a trading site for CSGO skins and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30% deposit bonus and if you use the link in the description or put the code ANOMALY you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to $5 for free. They've also got a freebies tab for giveaways which you can join for free so if you want to try them out then please use the link in the description and thank you skins monkey once again for sponsoring this video okay there we go set up a little trade over here that i'll be sending over to my friend and then i'll see what they look like so now let's jump over on his account and jump into counter strike 2 holy shit as you can see now counter strike update queued 15 gig update so that is counter strike 2 i'll go ahead and update now and uh, finally try out counter strike 2 even though it seems Valve hates me and is never gonna give me beta access, I can still get access my way, you bitch. Holy shit, okay, it's ready, let's start it. Ooh, okay. Welcome to the Counter-Strike 2 limited test. The features are available and the limited test may change over time. Okay, okay. And send your bug reports and general feedback to cs2team at valvesoftware.com. Yeah, you can also send to this email saying, hey, invite Anomaly, please, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is very nice. I like the updated menu. It's very loud though. So now we are in Counter-Strike 2 and I've never played it before. So I quickly want to jump into, I guess, just a deathmatch and see what it's like. Hey, there we go. Obviously a lot has changed, but I hope it feels like the same game. I'm joining Counter-Terrorists. Oi, it does feel a little different. Oh, nice death screen there. A lot has changed. You can see the entire HUD is different. There's so much that's different. It's like a sensory overload, you know? <laughs> it does feel different, but you can still feel that it's CS. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty or whatever, even though it looks like it. Oi, look at those tracers from the gun. Holy shit. Oh, is it over? Ooh, okay, nice end screen here. Much better than the one we have right now. Oh, <laughs> okay. The ragdolls are still very goofy. These tracers on the gun are a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. At the bottom there, you can see the new UI. Holy shit. Also, the Glock has a changed sound so we can listen to it. It's very different. Oh, let's listen to the Glock. What? That's insane! That's so different! That at least answers my first question. Does it feel like the same game? Yes. It's very different, but it does feel like CSGO. They haven't changed it so it feels ultra clunky like the old CSGO from 2012. And they also haven't changed it, even though it looks like it, that it feels like Call of Duty or Battlefield or something. No, it still feels like Counter-Strike, which it should. So obviously Counter-Strike 2 has so many updates and changes and new quirks that it's really hard to put it all together into one video so I've kind of summarized what I think is important and I'll go through it as best possible in this video. Now one thing I'm very interested in is the skins like I said so here are the skins I sent over. Oh Jesus that's different for sure and obviously when you're inspecting a skin is very different so this is what it looks like now when you're inspecting a skin it's moving on its own I'm not doing anything right now and if you want to you can also move it around and check every single angle of a gun skin which is nice because obviously if you're gonna buy a skin you want to make sure that it looks good now also let's see if they did change the scope on the op they did you can see even on this small picture it doesn't have the scope colored but in game it actually does okay so let's equip all of these new skins and a jump in game oh my game crashed okay that's great also it's worth noticing you can't open cases in the beta and you can't do trade-ups and such either you can however click delete item and it will give 
give you the new menu what it will look like when you're opening cases. It looks very, very good. Now, if this is the new case opening scene, you know, on Dust 2, what does that mean for the trade-up contract? Well, the trade-up contract actually has its own menu up here now. You can click trade-up and you come to the trade-up menu. Peterson doesn't have enough skins to trade up. And I'm pretty sure they even said that you can't change your inventory with trade-ups in the Counter-Strike 2 beta. I think they're going to re-add a nice, cool animation like they had back in the day. Now, I don't think it's going to be the same where you sign the contract and everything, but hopefully it's going to have a nice animation because that's something we've really been missing with CSGO. Okay, so let's make a private lobby and we'll try out some of the new guns, check out the skins, and also, of course, listen to all of the new sounds. Okay, so let's see here. I want to check out my knives first and foremost, the gut knife sapphire and the gut knife ruby. We've got the ruby equipped. Looks pretty similar. Oi! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, it does not look similar. What the hell is this? That looks really, really cool. Okay, holy shit. I think rubies and sapphires might go up a bit in value now. Let's see what the sapphire looks like. Oh my god! God. So when you're not in the light, like here, you can see that it looks pretty similar. Maybe a bit more like it's made out of glass. But when you're in the sun, it shines. It's like a lightsaber. Obviously, many skins are being changed. And I'm not sure exactly all of them. But this is one where you can see a huge difference. Oi, that sound. It sounds like you're scoping in Battlefield. Okay, one thing I wanted to try out as well. When you're using grenades, they have this nice new little menu you can see here. Now, this obviously only works in the warm-up, I'm pretty sure, and only in certain game modes. But you have this little camera which shows you exactly where your smoke is going to drop. If I want to make sure to smoke exactly on long doors, I would just have to do like, uh, just about over there. Let go. And yeah, it sure does land in the exact same spot. And this is also the new smoke, which uh, you can shoot through. Oh my god, that's so weird. Also, if I just drop a smoke over here and throw a grenade on it, you will see right in the middle, just about over there. Look now. What? Holy shit. So it used to be in CS that nothing could remove a smoke once the smoke had popped. But now you can use grenades and bullets to basically completely remove the smoke, at least temporarily. And this is what it looks like when you're inside of the smoke. I like this a lot more because you can see it's very dusty. You're not really sure where you are, but you still have that nice lighting effect seeing where the light comes from. So here's the new Molotov. You can see the bottle has been very updated and the liquid, the, the alcohol, in the bottle actually has real physics, which is really cool. So you can see if I look up, it goes towards the rag basically. And when you throw it, the fire is very updated. This looks like it's out of a movie. And of course, you can still smoke Molotovs and it works just like before. Maybe with a little bit cooler animation. But this is important because now one ways that used to work, they don't work anymore because the smokes work in a different way. Because the enemy player sees exactly what you see. So if you see him, he will see you. One thing I really want to do is uh, shoot every single gun so we can hear the different sounds. So obviously the Glock, in my opinion, is one of the bigger changes. That's a big change. Let's see the AK. You can hear they're trying to make it the same sound, but it's not really the same sound. Interesting. Let's listen to the dual Barettas. Is that a glitch? It looks very goofy. <laughs> P250. Pretty much the same. Tech 9. Desert Eagle. Also, this is what the print stream skin looks like. Looks kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Deagle. Basically the same sound. Oj, what? Did you hear that sound? What? Nova. XM1014. M249. Negev. MAC-10. MP7. UMP. P90. PP Bison. Galil. Oy! Holy shit, that is very different. I like that a lot, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Scout. SG553. Op. Same, but maybe a bit louder. Also, you can take a look at the tracer the op leaves behind. So if I shoot, look at that very nice tracer. And finally, the auto sniper for T side. 
pretty much the same, but once again here, you can see the tracers, which looks really intimidating. Another thing that's interesting is that the Zeus, now you can inspect it, which uh, I think is going to lead to Zeus skins, which many people have requested. Hopefully we get to see it. USA police officers be like... Now, let's check out the CT side weapons. Here, you can see, is what a black pearl looks like, which now finally actually looks like a gem. This is gonna look crazy cool in-game. And we also have the USP purple DD pad, which people said looks cool, and it sure does. This looks insane, actually, in-game. This is what the USP sounds like. Same. M4A1S, this is also a uh, print stream. Not that changed, actually. Same. Famas. Also, with a new audio, guns sound different depending on where you're shooting them. So I was just shooting the farmers out in the field. Listen what it sounds like now in tunnels. Way more reverb, and it sounds like you're shooting it basically inside a huge church or something because there's so much echo. It sounds like it should, basically. Echo and reverb, which is pretty nice. AUG. Also Sam. MP9. CC75. Also Sam. Okay, so I think those are most of the guns, at least that I know, that have been changed a lot. I'm gonna be honest, most of the new gun sounds are very good. I like them. It makes them sound heavier, it makes them sound more realistic. Now comes a very good question. What do I think of the game, and what's the performance like? Well, I obviously haven't played an actual game of matchmaking. You can only play the unranked version here, so it's always gonna be a little bit goofy. From my experience, and from what I heard, it's pretty pretty decent. It feels the same. The performance obviously isn't that good because it's in beta, but nonetheless, it does feel like CS. It does feel different, but different in a good way. It's still CS. It still looks like CS. Everything just has way more detail. Now, one final thing I want to show, I won't go into too much detail because I want to make a video on my third channel, Anomaly 3. Subscribe if you aren't already. It's about the new models for the guns. For example, if we take a look at the S G553 bulldozer and inspect it, you're gonna see some differences. Now, one of the things you can see is the scope looks very different, and the whole model is actually changed, because this is what it looks like in CSGO right now. Obviously, there's quite some differences. And that's not only for the SG553. One gun that's changed a lot is the Desert Eagle, which looks like this right now in Counter-Strike 2. You can see, they defined the rail under the barrel much better, they made the back much thicker, and this is what the Desert Eagle looks like in-game right now. You can see also a huge difference. Way thicker and way meatier, which I really like. Oh, my game crashed. Oh yeah, I forgot a very important thing. You can see your feet now. Is that a good update? I'm not sure. It feels very weird, but I guess agent skins are now going to be a bit more important, depending on, you know, how you want to look like. So yeah, I think overall, it feels like CS, but it does feel like a different game, if, if that's possible to understand. Also, holy shit, what the Fuck, this knife is insane. Thank you guys for watching. This was the official Anomaly review of Counter-Strike 2. I hope I didn't miss out on too much new things. I even wrote this, like, little sheet sheet here. Like, show on new sounds, show deleted scenes, you know, nades and smoking. I did everything. Spray patterns, are they the same? Fuck. Let's see, are spray patterns the same? The AK-47 should make a 7. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much the same, right? Nothing too huge of a change. Now I think I'm done. That's a very nice update, and I hope I get access on my own account soon so I can check out all of my skins. And like I said, I am going to be making a video on my third channel, going more in-depth into the new models, and also talking about the skins on the said models. Fuck you, Valve, for not letting me into the beta yet, and huge love to Patterson, who let me borrow his account for this nice little testing. Now I'm I'm gonna go back to CSGO because I can't play CS2 on my own account. Fuck you, Valve. Yeah, yeet.